Hey everyone, welcome back to Innovators. We were recently lucky enough to join the ASCII JP special program about the innovation program. There, we got a great chance to get some hands-on with some of the innovators tech, speak to them face-to-face -face, and learn about their upcoming technologies. This video will be split into two parts. In part one, we got a chance to try out the Uda, the musical instrument from Michinobu Uda, as well as getting a close-up look at the self-writing clock by Kango Suzuki, and speaking with Yuka Kubo on her Cinderella technology. In part two, we got an exclusive hands-on with the fluidized bed, a closer look at Hiyasi, the device that removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, and also had a conversation with Malina Fujiwara, creator of the Wasted Creation YouTube channel, to learn more about her inspiration and her process in making her weird and wonderful creations. First up, Michinobu Uda, as we get a little look at his incredible new musical instrument and a little bit of a hands-on. Enjoy! Push on the rope. Got a F. I'm embarrassing myself. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out I'm not very good at doing this Uda. Amazing Grace. Their hands on the side have got a little bit of flexibility to them um, and it's super sensitive, very sensitive. You don't have to put much pressure onto the, um, the pipes themselves and it creates a, creates a sound almost immediately. So in the future, do you have any plans to sell the Uda? Uda six zero one six series of scooters in this case, though, Korea most cautious soon they go in Shizu Well, thank you very much. Really, really, really interesting tech. Clocks are intricately designed wonders of the modern technological era. And this approach by Suzuki Kango takes it the next step. It's got a lot of gears and the arms, they move themselves to write the time. This was his original design from about five years ago. With the innovation program, he made it very small, metal, and it looks very beautiful, in my opinion. So Suzuki-san, what's next for your art? Well, I think you've already done that with the self-writing clock. Overseas there's been a lot of interest for your clock itself. Um, what do you think of this overseas response? So, well, I'm glad to hear that, and I hope that you go overseas in the future and show the world your new version of the time self writing clock. I also sat down with Yuka Kubo, who created Cinderella Technology, an idea to help girls express their inner beauty. Overseas, there are a lot of different beauty standards in different cultures. How would Cinderella Technology address this? Japan, 
画像処理で変えたりとかって言って作り上げられたものが自分だと考えているのに対しあのやはりフランスの方などとお話ししたこともあるのですがフランスなどではもうちょっと生まれ持った自分っていうのが、えー、自分だとアイデンティティだというふうに考えていらっしゃるという。ことが多いようで、えー、そうするとこのシンデレラテクノロジーというのはすぐにはこう適用しないということになります。えっとだけれども、えー、この生身の自分というのはそうですが、ネット上の自分プロフィール写真とかそういった、えー、これからもっと 3D アバターかもしれないんですけれども、そういったものというのはもうどうしても作り込んだもので。ナチュラルな自然のものではないので誰もがそう作り込んだ自分をこれから世界中の人が持つようになると思いますそこで日本で培われてきた自分を作るというようなシンデレラテクノロジーの技術が世界中で利用されるということがあるのではないかなと考えています。Wow. I think I need Cinderella technology. Yeah. Thank you very much. Wow. All of the technologies featured in today's video were made possible by the Innovation Program. Thank you very much for watching today's Innovators video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you again.